For this lesson, we are going to look at the quadratic functions worksheet, um, where we are going to learn how to graph quadratic functions and identify solutions. When we were solving the equations earlier uh, by factoring or by using the quadratic formula, what we were actually doing was finding the solutions for that particular function. Um, on the second slide, you're going to see um, the different things that we are gonna be talking about regarding these graphs. Um, these quadratic functions that we've been working with um, are U-shaped. So anytime you graph them, you will get a U-shaped and these U-shapes are called parabolas. Um, a is, which, which is what you see here, um, in the standard form, that number that sits in front of the x squared, that's gonna tell us whether or not the parabola opens up or whether it opens down. If it's a positive number in front of that x squared, it's gonna open up. If it's a negative number in front of that x squared, it's going to open down. Um, if it opens up, then that means it's going to have a minimum point, and if it opens down, then that means it's gonna have a maximum point. A maximum and a minimum point are called the vertex. And you can see the formula um, that will help us find the x-coordinate of that vertex, x equals negative b over 2a. That's part of that quadratic formula that we looked at in another lesson. And then once you know that x-coordinate, we can just plug it into the function that's given to us, and that will give us our y-coordinate. So you've got your x-coordinate that's found using the formula, and then plugging that answer into the actual function to find the y inner or the y-coordinate. Um, where the parabola touches the x-axis is called the x-intercept. Um, and an x-intercept is a solution. Um, where the y or where the parabola touches the x-axis, those are called y-intercept. They are not solutions, but you might see some questions in the future assignment that's asking you for the y-intercepts. So to do this a little bit more efficiently, we are gonna use decimals. So on your um, Chromebooks, you want to type in desmos.com. We talked about this and looked at this in class before. Um, and you want to click on the graphing option that pops up once you type in desmos.com. And you will get this screen. Okay, we've seen this screen before. Now over here, this is where we're going to type the function. So if you're looking at the packet that was given to you. Number one says y equals, so we're gonna type y equals, and then it says x squared, so you hit x. And then on your keyboard, this little caret button right here, that is what is gonna give you your exponent. So you'll hold down the shift and then hit that six. Nope, I hit the wrong one. And then we can type the squared, and then we'll type minus nine x, plus 16. And as you type that, you're going to see some things going on over here. Um, but here's the function that you get. Um, if I'm on this screen, you can um, kind of zoom in and out with these buttons so you can see more of that U shape. Um, you can scroll in to see more, uh, less of that U shape. But we really want to be able to focus on where these x-intercepts are and where this minimum point is since this opens um, up. So again, looking at the original function, the number in front of this x squared is a 1, a positive 1. A positive means that it opens up and therefore it has a minimum as we can see. So if you're ever asked about that minimum or that maximum, again, look at A. If A is positive, it's going to open up like this one, so it's going to have a minimum. And if it's a negative number in front of that x squared, which we will look at, it will open down. So we'll have a parabola that opens down and it'll have a maximum point. Um, if it asks you questions about um, what the actual vertex is, Desmos is really nice because you can see right here there's this point. And if I go and just kind of hover over that point, it tells me the location of the uh, vertex. So my x coordinate. Um, is 4.5 and my y coordinate is negative 4.25. You can also find um, these exact um, coordinates using that formula from the last page. Um, if it's asking you for the solutions or the x-intercepts, those mean the same thing. 
x-intercepts. Where is the graph touching the x-axis? You can see that there are two x-intercepts, one here at 2.438, uh, zero, and one here at 6.562, zero. Make sure that if they are asking you for solutions or x-intercepts that you write them as a point with an x and a y-coordinate and a parenthesis around them. If it's asking you for the y coordinate, we're going to have to scroll out here in order to reach that. You can finally see this point up here where the graph is touching the y intercept or the y axis and that location is at 0, 016. Okay, so now I'm going to type in a new function. This is the second function that is in your packet. So I can just go back and delete what I put. So my second function on the packet says y equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 5. So I type that in. When I look over here, I can see my U shape, my parabola. Again, scrolling in or out using these tabs right here. I can zoom as close as I want and as far as I want. Um, again, this has a maximum because... The number in front of the x squared is a negative one. A negative means that it opens down. Opens down means that there is a maximum point. This maximum point is also called your vertex. The x coordinate of the vertex is negative one. The y coordinate of the vertex is six. So your vertex is at negative one six. Again, just moving your cursor to that point, that point should pop up. If it's asking you for what the x-intercepts are or what the solutions are, again, x-intercepts and solutions mean the same thing. So you hover over where the graph is crossing the x-axis. You see the point negative 3.449, 0. And over here at 1.449, 0. Those are your x-intercepts. If it's asking you for the y-intercept, again, here's your y-axis. There's the point that touches the y-axis. So your y-intercept would be at 0, 5. Um, looking at the next problem that's in your packet, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to delete that old function and I'm going to type in the new one, which was 3x squared minus 12x minus 1. 3x squared minus 12x minus 1. So now if I scroll back over here, I can see that parabola. I can zoom in and out so I can see as much of that as I possibly can. Very narrow one this time. Again, the A, the number in front of the x squared here was a positive 3. Positive means that it opens up. Opens up means that it has a minimum point. This minimum point is also called your vertex. The vertex has an x coordinate of 2 and a y coordinate of negative 13, so your vertex is 2, negative 13. Your solutions are the x intercepts. So it's coming up here, we have one x intercept at negative 0 0.0820. And another y-intercept or solution at 4.082,0. Your y-intercept looks like it is also the x-intercept. So your x-intercept here is the same as the y-intercept for this particular one because it's they're both crossing around that same point there. It looks though, actually that's my mistake, it looks like this would be my y-intercept because we would need an x-coordinate of zero and we've got one. So your y-intercept is actually zero, negative one on this particular one. Let's look at one more together. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna delete that old function, the last one. Um, in your packet, it says negative 4x squared plus 8x minus 3. Before I look over at the graph itself, notice that the number in front of the x squared is a negative 4. Negative 4 means that it opens down. Opens down means that it has a maximum. Um, I can adjust my view by, by clicking and dragging. Um, again, zooming in and zooming out so we can see some of the things on this screen a little bit better. So you can see it has a maximum point. I can go to that point and click on it. When I click on it, I see that my maximum point or my vertex, those mean the same thing, has the coordinates of 1, 1. 
I have solutions at the x-intercept. So I have a, a solution at 0 0.50 and another solution at 1.50. It Those are also your x-intercepts, remember. And then I have a y-intercept here at 0, negative 3. So when you are working on your um, assignment for this particular lesson, make sure that you use Desmos um, because you can quickly find the vertex without using the formula. You can quickly find the x-intercepts or the solutions uh, without having to graph this on your own. And you can also find the y-intercepts as well. I will see you at two o'clock on Thursday if you have any questions.